Fish and Freaks, welcome back to the channel and to my tailgate here. And we are going to be doing some truck camping tonight, and we're going to be doing a little bit of trout dangling. Now, I'm pretty excited about tomorrow's trout adventure because we're going to a place I've never been before. It's a catch and release only, it's uh, you know, artificials only, uh, barbless. There's a lot of fish that are caught there, but they're bigger and I've, I've never really caught a big fish out here in this area. So I'm looking forward to that. And we may even take some of the chicken flies that we tied last time. But the big challenge here is going to be surviving tonight, which is going to be in the 20s. Uh, my buddies have campers here. It's pretty nice. I wish I kind of brought mine now at this point that I've seen the forecast and I know how cold it's gonna be. I got here this morning, I was so cold when I got out of the water from fishing. It took me an hour just to warm up, just to use my toes, feel my toes again. And I was gonna fish this evening, but I decided I cannot get in that water because if I come out of there, it's getting dark. It's gonna take me forever to warm up and I'm going in here where it's gonna be in the 20s. So that is not good. What I did bring is I brought my uh, canvas cutter, sleeping pad. If you guys have never heard of those, they're a fantastic way to truck camp. I just roll that out in the truck bed, I'm good to go. I also have my zero degree sleeping bag. And even that can get a little chilly sometimes. So uh, we brought one more blanket and I've got uh, a pillow, basically. Food wise, the only thing that we have left is our three trout that we caught this morning and we have uh, some eggs. <clears throat> so tonight's gonna be a little rough, but I think we can make it. And hopefully in the morning, these trout are gonna be grandes. <laughs> We have risen. We are on the tailgate right now. Light up top, getting gear ready. And how was the sleep last night? Well, to be honest with you, I slept like a baby. Slept like a baby in there. Even though it was uh, in the 20s, slept very good inside of uh, the canvas cutter with the bag. This system's been with me through a lot, through a lot of times. Still trucking, still keeping me toasty. So now we're about to head to the, uh, the catch and release area uh, and hopefully um, get there and there's not a lot of people there and we'll have a lot of casting space, but we'll see. Uh, my camera's almost frozen. I gotta put some gloves on. So you guys stay tuned. Hopefully we're gonna catch some uh, big trout in just a second. Somewhere. Time to grab the gear, boys. Get your nets, get your danglers. I got my danglers and my waders. Time to catch the fish of a lifetime. Okay, well. This one's mine. Oh, my net. oh, there it is. Catch the biggest stalker of your life. Catch the biggest stock trout of your life today. Hike it in, boys. Hike it in. Got about a mile and a half here. Sun just coming up. Coyotes in the prairies, big trout on the horizon. Fingertips have warmed up slightly, slightly. A little bit of ice in the puddles coming in. It's the river. Ice hike through the woods, get the day started, get the heart rate elevated. We got one of our chicken flies tied on. We're gonna see what that can do. In the water? Where are you going? I'm going to the island. Where's the best place to fly fish? Uh, probably back there. Really? In the water. But you so why are you going up there? Well, I'm gonna go here because I can fish both areas. But I don't want to fish there. Yeah. And then you can also fish in the vacuum on the waterfall. Okay. Fish the island, they say. Fish the island. We're gonna try to drop in right here. No idea how deep this sucker is gonna be. Looks like somebody's dropped in here before. Oh. 
and uh, we'll go ahead and get in. See how far we go. Oh, sh yeah, there's a deep. That's a deep deal. Yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. Not a whole lot of back casting room, but we do have good current flow. And that is key. That is key for the catch. Probably going to have to play around with our leader uh, link here to our indicator. But as of right now, everything's looking pretty spicy, pretty good. Oh, we on, boys. On the chicken fly, baby. This ain't no big one. What are we talking about here? Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Pretty one, though. You got some fight. I like it. You're spicy. I like it. Ah, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous trout to start the early cold morning off, knocking the frost off of our bodies from the truck camping. And we caught it on a fly that we tied. A little hot butt. Awesome. See you, my guy. Great way to start the day. My gosh. Can't really ask much more from that. That's about five casts in. Just nailed a Watusi there. Let's see if we can uh, throw the smack down on another one. Nice! Catch that one on a hot dog or what? All right, got, got a couple trout being netted over here. Notice my buddy Lance, he went to a spot. He was like, yeah, you should fish over here. And uh, yeah, he went somewhere else. He knew where the juice was. I was tempted to follow him, but I was like, ah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be that guy. Here we go. Oh, came off. Felt good, nice. No. There you go, Aiden. Nice one. Come on, sweetie pie. Let's go. Let's dance. Let's dance. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good one. Let's dance in the moonlight together. There you go, sweetie. Let's fight it out. There we go, there's a nice fight. Nice trout. Come here, baby. Good morning. There's a nice trout, guys. Awesome. And my hook literally just pulled out. Got it on our hot butt chicken, chicken fly that this fish is currently just rolling around in. There we go. There's our fly. Pretty cool little fly that I tied, quite honestly. And here's our trout. That's a nice one. No, 14 incher. See my dude? Beautiful trout. Catch and release. Barbless. It's going good. Liking this. We catch a real nice one here if we're patient and willing to experiment. I was very, very cold to start the morning. My fingers are still cold, but... Oh, there's one. Yes, catching fish certainly makes you warm up. There it is. 
There she is. Do your dance, darling. Do your magical dance. Woo! Seems a little better. Come here, old Darlene. Let me tell you something, Darlene. You done run away from me too many times, Darlene. It's time for you to come back. It's time for you to come back to me, darling. There you go. Woo! Hook just flew out right there, guys. And that is a juicy, juicy trout. Look at that. She's a beaut, ain't she? She's a beaut. That's totally awesome right there. What's, uh... What's really cool about that is the fly. I, I have not changed up to a non-chicken fly yet. No, you know what? Actually, there's there's not. There's just there's not any chicken feathers. I totally lied. I thought there was a filler in there. Maybe there was at one point when it was dry. I put like a little bit of um, of uh, hen hackle, but it's pretty much just hot butt. Hot butt marabou. But I did tie it. I, I tied the fly myself. This is catch and release right now. But in the month of March, they open it so that you can uh, you can keep the fish because they're all gonna die in the hot temperatures. And I've never fished it before. This is my first time. So I'm pretty pumped. I'm trying not to get snagged behind me too. It's a, it's a tricky little wicket. Caught myself a beautiful uh, pin oak, looks like. Actually, I have no idea. Mind the trees. You, really, you gotta appreciate every catch, the difficulty that's going into this here. Got a tangle. Tangle up. In life, there are tangles you must overcome. I'm actually just gonna take, I'm gonna take this off for a second. Because I need to adjust it anyway. If you buy these types of indicators, never lose track of your cap. That cap can fall off in the water so easy. I'm going to put it in my teeth. Try to pull this through here. There we go. There's one out. Back side of this little riff is kind of shallow, but I like it. Oh, still hitting a little bit of rock. Oh, there we go. We're in the seam. In the seam, baby. Oh, had a bite. I think. Oh no, oh gosh, our uh, indicator slipped. This is probably like the frustrating stuff that you don't see in fly fishing videos. Or I just kind of suck and I'm, you know, showing you guys if, you, if you're going to do this for the first time, what's going to happen. But if you don't have this tightened down, very good, it can slip. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm, I'm doing with my... Uh, basically my leader I've got I've got a tapered leader so it starts at like whatever it is 25 pound line and then it goes down from there and this is a five footer and I can cast this uh, much better on my this is an eight and a half foot rod so I don't have a very long rod so I can cast the, the five footer much better um, and that tapered line helps you cast so Usually what I do is I'll, I'll fish the straight leader until this this end here, what's called the, the tippet part, gets to a pretty thin length. You know, I'm going to tie off, I might break off. And when this gets into that zone where it starts tapering up to thicker pound line, then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll use my leader line and I'll tie on uh, a leader. And I'll use a um, tippet ring or honestly what I do most of the time is I just tie a uni, uni splice knot which is not something I would ever tie as a connection knot from braid to fluoro on bass fishing, but because I'm using such a light rod, uh, I, I've never had that, that knot break when I'm trout fishing. But you want to go down to about four or five pound test. So another thing that you could do to prevent your, um, your oh my gosh, I shouldn't even talk. I shouldn't even talk because I just, 
I hung a tree. That is a big pain in the diock right there. I think that's a non-returnable. I purchased something I can't return. I see uh, another one up there. That's a, that's a shiitake mushroom special right there. Yeah, that, this is what you don't want to do. This is step number one in fly fishing. Uh, be aware of your surroundings. No, that's a... Oh, oh, did I get it? Oh, my goodness. What was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about leader slips. You can use tippet rings. And that'll prevent it from sliding down. This one's going to be a goner, I believe. It's going to be a... Dunzo McGee just broke that off. Broke off a self-tied fly. That is... It's not ideal. It's where we pop a squat and we think about what we're going to do here. I'm going to reveal some information to you. You probably don't need to know, but I... I farted in these waders about five minutes ago and it's just creeping out. That is... That is something, that's something spicy in there that I'm not happy with. Okay, we're going to try our hand at a new hole. Another one was getting a little stale, broke off. Had to retie, went with a new fly. Hot butts again. Oh, God, just had one. Just had one right there. There he is. Ah, that was a different fish, too. Came up in, in here in a little pool. No one's fishing. Get away from that log, buddy. Got some tug to him. Ooh, this is, a, this is a good one. Come here, baby. Where are you going? Going out to sea? Come see me in the net. Yes, sir. Good trout, self tied fly. Glorious morning experience. Fly out. Nice trout right there, y'all. Nice trout. There's another one in there. It needs my attention. It's right up there close to the bank where that current's the strongest. Got another little tap. Got to keep it in that current though, that's the key. There it is. That's the juice. Oh, God, I missed him, I missed him. God, I missed him again. Definitely getting hit right in there. Probably a couple of them. There he is. Ah, it's amazing. It's amazing how many times you can miss them, throw back, get them. Oh, definitely a bigger trout. It's the biggest trout I've hooked today. Oh yeah, well, he's pulling good. Just gotta keep him away from this log. Get out of there, buddy. Good bend. Oh 
Oh yeah. Woo hoo, baby. Good fight. That's what you want right there. Keeping that bend in the pole. It's a heavy one. There he is. Oh man. Hey, you tug it. There you go. This is a dog right here. He's dogging. This is what we got up early to come catch right here. All right, he's ready now. Oh, look at that fat bulldog right there now. Yeah. That's a juicy one. I had you unhooked, dude. Why'd you have to bite it again? Oh, it just broke my line. My line literally just snapped. There we go. Alright, put that on our chest. Don't want to lose our fly. And there is a beautiful trout. Absolute chunk. Right there, y'all. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he goes. That is my biggest trout of the day, biggest trout of the trip. Hell of a fight. That was awesome. Okay, retied my fly. I'm going to try to go back in that same little hole. Love catching them up close like that, too. Just stick them in that rod, loads up. That was a fun time, I don't care who you are. Oh God, yep, just got hit. Right that same exact spot. It's like they're not quite convinced of that vibrant fly. There we go. Oh, he's running. Oh, gosh, that's a good one. He's coming right at me. Now uh, he's going. Oh, my gosh, look at that jump. Wow. Wow. Where are you going? Are you done? Nope, you're not done. Woo, baby. Take it easy. I think this one's bigger than the last one. Mm mm mm. Man, that is awesome. You ready? I'm ready for you. Oh, no, you're not. Still got some spunk. Ah, that's what's so cool about a fly rod. It just gives and gives and gives. Come here. You're barely hooked. I can see it. This one wins the fight dance competition wow 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 Woo, hook just popped out look at that look at that guys a trout is quivering with excitement i hope he enjoyed that as much as i did that is a gorgeous trout right there y'all absolute beauty the golden star of the morning right there that fish took me for a ride and then some we'll let this fish go wow it doesn't get much better than that magnum trout come up dance 
self-tied fly fish that spot 20 times no there was another fish there and I finally I got bit Whew. I just made my morning okay got a new tippet ring got ourselves a new leader and we're gonna go with a finesse fly peanut butter jelly color did not tie it since I've been sitting here I've seen two trout surface same area it takes so much time to get your fly situations going it can be either therapeutic or frustrating depending on how you view it I view it as frustrating when I'm seeing fish uh, surfacing I want to catch them catch them catch them catch them I want to get out there with the fly game you got to be patient All right, there's my tippet ring. Probably can't see it, but it's there, I assure you. Come on, baby. Got a new carrot for you. All right, let's make an adjustment here. Go a little bit longer. I might just not like this fly though too natural they need more like stalker stalker baits something that looks like a pellet I know you're in here oh there he is got him he wanted it he wanted it right in the seam. Yes, baby. Another toad. Just an absolute slob dog. Look at this guy, just bulldogging. Full bent rod program. Yes. It's just that patience. Retying the right bait, getting the leader correct, the length, all that. And then you catch this kind of fish. Hmm. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's a toad. No question. let him do his thing here oh yeah oh yeah you're a big boy you a big boy can't horse him four pound line oh, 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 oh look at that boil I think this is the biggest one yeah. Do that dance. Do that dance, buddy. Oh, little jump. Little jump. You're almost done. You're almost there. Yeah. So big, so fat, you can't even jump. Oh, he's still going. All right, buddy. Let's do this. Let's do this, you and me. A little net time. A little net time, barbless hook. Let's go. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh my gosh, look at that chunk. <laughs> that is an absolute chunk right there, guys. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. This, this trout is much bigger than I thought he was at first. Comes right out. 
That's a magnum. See you, Bertha. That is so cool. Yet, someone is gonna be eating that trout here in a couple months. Ending on a big fish? Well, that's just always satisfying. Just a great day on the river with the boys. And as an added bonus, that last trout I caught was my personal best on this river. Mission accomplished, not getting hypothermia sleeping in the truck. Thanks to my old trusty sleeping bag. And I'm also thankful for the new confidence in tying my own flies and catching some fish on them. So as always, thank you guys for being here on this adventure in the great outdoors. And I will see you on the next one.